Are you debating between glass packs or flow masters? Or maybe you're just wanting to hear a high quality clip of one or the other. Well, that's what I've got for you right here, coming up. So stay tuned. Oh yeah, if you're new, I'm a car enthusiast, a lawyer, and I use a wheelchair. If you'd like to tag along while I pursue my obsession with cars and feed my appetite for adrenaline, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss anything. So I've had both glass packs and Flowmasters on this old square body behind me. And it currently has it's Flowmaster Super 44 mufflers with long tube headers and just straight two and a half inch piping. But I used to have 12 inch glass packs on the same exhaust system. So I'm going to show you some clips of the truck before the Flowmasters and what it sounds like currently. You okay? You got it, got it, you got it. You all right? He's okay. Now obviously the, the mufflers are only one variable when it comes to how your exhaust system is gonna sound in the end. Of course, it depends on, largely on the engine, uh, the camshaft, whether or not you're running headers or regular exhaust manifolds, what kind of tailpipes you have. There's lots of different variables. With that being said, full disclosure, this truck is just a 350 cubic inch small block Chevy engine um, with some high flow heads, a fairly large camshaft, and a fully aftermarket performance uh, top end. So, uh, also it's running one and five eighths inch headman, long tube headers, two and a half inch pipes, run back to the, the mufflers, and then turn down. Now, currently it's running a little bit of a tailpipe behind the, the muffler, about three feet, almost to the rear differential and then it's turned down. Prior, when it had the glass packs, it didn't have any tailpipe. It only had, it just had three inch turn downs welded directly to the mufflers. But that's the only difference as far as the piping between the two setups. So, I'm gonna show you some old footage of it with the glass packs. And then I will try to reproduce uh, each of those settings with the current setup. Plus I will also add a few additional clips so you can hear it in different rpm ranges and um, on different surfaces that's coming up stay tuned don't worry i made sure to include plenty of footage of the truck idling so you can bask in the glorious music of the camshaft yeah i might enjoy that sound a little bit too much some might even accuse me of Idol worship. Get it? Idol worship? I D L E? Oh, come on, that's brilliant.
right, so there was the footage, the old footage of the truck when it had the glass bags. Now I'm going to show you some new footage I've shot with the current setup. Now remember, everything's virtually the same. It's just the mufflers are different. Uh, mufflers are now Super 44 Flowmasters with about a three foot tailpipe turn down. Before they were just glass packs with three inch turn downs welded directly to the mufflers. Now I do want to point out something before I show you this. You're going to hear the tires barking a lot. It's not because I'm spinning. It's because I have a mini spool in the rear end. If you want to know more about that, I'll link a video up here in the right corner. Check that out. It's got the full details of every thing about the truck, the full setup, including details about the mini spool. I may also make a video um, giving you my thoughts about the mini spool and some of my experiences. Um, it may also be out by the time you watch this, so if it is, I'll also put it in the description.
Okay, so there it was. You saw it with the glass packs and with the current setup, the Super 44 Flowmasters. Um, I love the way the truck sounds um, with both mufflers, but I, I do I do enjoy the, the tone that you get with the Flowmasters a little more. You can't really tell it really well in the video footage, but it is a bit quieter now than it was with the glass packs but it's still really loud from the outside and as you saw in the inside it's not it's not too bad there's a lot of rattling going on in there but as far as the the exhaust it's not too bad with the flow masters um with the windows up anyway i hope you enjoyed that hope it was helpful now again i want to reiterate that there's many factors that go into what your exhaust is going to sound like uh, just putting these headers with the same piping and mufflers on you know any old small block engine is not going to necessarily sound like this uh, like i said this truck's got a the engine has a uh, high flow set of heads you know the entire top end is aftermarket performance uh, parts and it's got a pretty good size camshaft so you know obviously put this same exhaust system on a stock 350 and it's, it's not going to sound like that but you can still get a decent idea of what the difference between the glass packs and the flow masters are anyway i hope you found it helpful and uh if you want to hear you know see more about the entire setup on the truck like i said i'll have a link in the description for a video where I'll go over every detail. I plan on doing more videos like this in the future. Uh, if you wanna stick around, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, turn on bell notifications. And if you wanna support the channel, drop a like. I'll see you next time.